Hello and welcome to I Am Geek. This is episode 303. I'm your host, Ryan, joined by my brother, Chris, and our good pal, Katrin. And we are finally back. Hi. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah. We're back. I was out of town. Then I was sick. Mm. Yay. So, again, Howl Geek is off to a rough start. I don't know what to tell you. This yeah. is how it goes around here during this yeah. time of the year. But hey, 303, that's the same going forward and backwards. What? It's like a race uh it's like race car. Uh what do yeah. they call it? Palindrome. <laughs> Palindrome. It's like a race car. <laughs> <laughs> they can go forwards and backwards. Oh so, <laughs> if you spell race car one way, it spells like, oh, it's mom and wow and Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> Welcome back, fellas. Hey yo. Hey. I'm still getting over this crud, the con crud, I guess is they call it. I guess when you go to conventions, you get some crud. Yes. Lots mm. of people, lots of germs, lots Absolutely. of sickness. Yes. Lots of no bathing. Ooh. No, no, it was good. Did no, they all wear deodorant? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean this this is the cream of the crop. This was that is true. The Black These Star Cruiser. People. Yeah. Right. We'll get to that. People. These people spend a lot of money to go on the Galactic Scar. Yeah, they're Star cream Star of the crop people. <laughs> Love them all. And we're going to talk all about yeah, that here in a little bit. A <laughs> but <laughs> I thought we would talk about, since it is the Howl Geek season, mm-hmm. and we actually have a show that we're all watching, not yes. together, because we're in several no. places. We, sh- mm-hmm. we should we do the watch together. Yeah, yeah we, we should do a watch along. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could just yeah. watch on our own televisions, right? And sit there. And, okay, push play, everybody. But the Disney Plus I mean, has that thing. You can, can, do they still have that? I don't know. I think they still have it. But what's the sure, point? You got to pay extra for it, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, well. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, we'll talk about that <laughs> later. <I'm> kidding. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we're all three watching Agatha all along, which is sort of a Halloween y. Yeah. Because it's a mm-hmm. bunch of yeah. Very witches. Season. A bunch of witches. <laughs> and um, mm-hmm. witchy witch. we're on episode six. Just played. Six just played. Six. Yes. Yeah. So we got some catching up to do. Three three more episodes left. Um, and it ends on Halloween? Or it that week? On the 30th. So on okay. the 30th, uh, there are two episodes. Which, oh, is, wow. which is funny or ironic. That ends on the 30th. Because in lore, the 30th of October is when witches are born. Oh, like Ooh. our mother. Yes, yes. Our mother's birthday is on the 30th. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant she's a witch. <laughs> well, I, I mean, well, I mean she was born on the 30th, so yes. <laughs> Must be a witch. You gotta be a witch. Uh, I mean. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm sure they did that on purpose. I don't know. Maybe that's mm-hmm. when Agatha becomes a witch again, or gets her. Uh, she's already a witch, right? Yeah, she's already a witch. She's lost her powers. And <laughs> yeah, she lost in powers. Yeah, lost in powers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so, so last time we talked, we had watched the first two, two or three episodes. Three. three. I'd watch two. <laughs> well, we had watched three. <laughs> yes, we had watched three. Patron had watched two, yes. and he thought he had watched all, all of them. Through. Yes, all all along, I watched. Thought I'd watched them. Yeah. So, um, what have you guys been thinking about it so far? Very scary. <laughs> <laughs> What's been scary about it? Oh, well, it's twitches, man. It's twitches. Scary. Scary. I think it's been good. I've I've enjoyed the the trials that they've done. It's they're. Uh, I equate them to escape rooms. Oh, yes, they have been like because they've room. got to figure out they've got this puzzle, like they're looking for oh. a, a riddle or something in the room to tell them what they need to do in order to get out of the room, essentially. Right. And then they end up going through some sort of weird tunnel, like a, an oven or a piano, <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and yep. you know, out of there. <laughs> uh, what was that? Like Meow Wolf, Meow Wolf, uh, yeah. <laughs> it so. did make me wonder because I thought the same thing actually. Yeah. I wondered like when are they gonna do like a pop up like Agatha thing somewhere for like an yeah. escape room? Yeah, the yeah, show that would be cool. Be mm-hmm. Yeah. The show. So I've enjoyed that part of it because I like escape rooms. We all like yeah. escape rooms. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's been I've I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. Um Catherine Hahn 
um is just fun to watch yeah um she's she's just she's a great actress and she's just really just soaking in like everything mm -hmm. she's just letting it all play out it's really fun the other actresses and uh are fun the teen goes up and down for me sometimes <laughs> sometimes i like him sometimes he gets a little too fangirl <laughs> almost like it's uh, where sure. he's just like, i don't know just goes a little too just out there and but a lot of the times he's fine and in this uh, and it seems like he's going to get more serious now yeah. when he's more serious i like his character more when he's well, get which we found out who he is yeah and and in the last episode he seems very different to me like he's very i feel like he is very serious and mm -hmm. um, it's you see a different side of him like i was like is this the same guy we've been watching the whole time <laughs> like, I, <laughs> yeah. I it was very different <laughs> which yeah, i know there was yeah yeah there were times where he got a little kind of silly but uh, like, yeah like i i like when he's more serious like yeah i think his character plays more better more better so so he, we find out in this last episode who he actually is. Mm -hmm. Well, we we find out it's weird. I thought this last episode was weird. <laughs> we could get to that, um, but I've liked the escape room part. I've liked the um, when the uh, when the evil witches show up. The oh, the seven. 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 Oh yeah, yeah they're creepy. Seven. Oh yeah, they're, they're creepy. creepy. They're cool. Um, I liked. Uh, when um yep parks and rec girl audrey plaza audrey yeah when she shows up but she just mysteriously oh, yeah, like just that. disappeared right yeah she kind of she kind of vanished um uh, towards the end of not this last episode but the yeah. episode before where yeah they are leaving uh unfortunately so spoilers i guess oh yeah probably say that um alice is alice um uh the the witch the musical witch <laughs> there's mom yes uh, wrote the song um she uh, unfortunately passed away um well and that just oh, she, well, her life force sucked away <laughs> yeah 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 trying to help agatha but agatha said she couldn't control it and sucked all her life out of yeah. her um but yeah that that kind of set him off like the that '70s show mom when she died, he's like, "Hey, uh, oh, she was my favorite." <laughs> <laughs> well, was... it, it seemed like for him, it was just you know whatever. He didn't go, he didn't go crazy then. Yeah. Uh, right. But when Alice died, he just he, he went all nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, she was kind of integral to the the whole story, right? If I mean her family at least. Well, they sort yeah. of they sort of got close there, didn't they? Weren't they the ones that traded the brooms? maybe yes so. yeah yeah so they sort of got yeah, so they got they kind of got close a little bit yeah but yeah he uh yeah he he showed his true colors which was blue <laughs> with his crown all right so question for you all right this is wanda maximoff's son mm -hmm. billy billy in the comics he is wiccan mm-hmm they call him a witch in the show. Is mm -hmm. he a witch in the comics? Because well, I always thought this is just me, you know, the forty-six-year-old. <laughs> I thought witches were were girls, and like then the boys were warlocks. Warlocks, yeah. I that's typical. I mean, that's now it's typically yeah you know, okay. said. Uh, Wiccan is. Not, I don't think that's necessarily like male or female. Wiccan is basically like just a good witch. Okay. Hmm. Um, it it's just someone who like is in touch with like nature and the yeah yeah and the power of the nature and everything. I don't I don't think I there's know if, a male yeah. term necessarily for that kind of. Okay, witch. I didn't know if he was a warlock or in the comics or. Well, was. I think Warlock, the name's already taken, so I think he's Well, I meant like in general. <laughs> <laughs> like Agatha's the a name. witch. Like yeah I, yeah, I yeah, I don't Wanda's a witch. <laughs> I guess in this 
think because uh, well i mean technically if you think about marvel really they don't really necessarily warlocks they say sorcerers yeah hmm. uh, but that can that sorcerers are typically male or female too so um so we should i should look it up so, I mean, which i i believe for the most part does indicate a female uh, that's what i thought i mean i wasn't trying in, to be weird in, or anything. in history in history but i mean it's a show about witches so they're just gonna call him a witch which um, will probably lead to him calling himself wiccan because he'll probably be like i'm not a i'm not a witch i'm good i'm i'm, I'm a wiccan and that's how it gets yeah <laughs> that's how it gets his name. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't doubt it I wouldn't doubt it <laughs> oh here we go ai overview no, witches are not just female, as men were also accused of witchcraft. The women no, well, are more likely That's true. Salem, yeah, they were to be accused of witchcraft. I just thought they were called something different. I, I mean, it, I guess, like, I mean, growing up, when whenever you see, like, the kind of icons and stuff, like, <laughs> Halloween, like, witches are always depicted as women. So that's just kind of probably what we're, we most know. <laughs> then this question says are witches unisex you know oh, but in the english uh, oh, it's yeah. almost exclusively a plot <laughs> <laughs> like the fund yeah. yeah they might be a part of it i don't unisex. know <laughs> <laughs> they can do what they want they can <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of. It's funny when you put a question into Google and it lists all the other questions that people have asked. Like, mm -hmm. are witches just female wizards? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Anyways, all right. There you go. <laughs> so I've enjoyed the show. There's there's been some parts where I'm just like, yeah, whatever. But overall. It's been. I'll be, I'll be interested to see where they take it. I did like that they brought back our favorite um, <laughs> person in this last episode. <laughs> Good old Ralph Boner came back. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. Bonerific. And he's not. He is not doing well. No, <laughs> no not. But he at does all. have a stage show. Yeah, I want to see yeah, his one man seats. show. I want to see his one man show. That yeah. should be like when then in Hawkeye when they did the Steve Rogers the musical. Mm -hmm. At the end of this show, after the they credits, should it should yeah. be yes, Ralph Boner's missed, one man show. <laughs> missed opportunity. That'd be amazing. Yes. Be amazing. But yeah, uh, yeah, I've liked it so far. This last episode. To me, like the, the and I feel like we, we've talked about this before. They always have to have this episode on a Marvel show. It was the boat episode. Yeah, I saw that the whole time. We, we <laughs> talked about it earlier yeah. before you got on, and, and Chris and I were like, <laughs> Yes, I know. I yeah, like, it was the boat episode. I'm watching yeah. it, and I'm like, This is the boat episode, isn't it? For, yeah. for those that don't know, um, when uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier aired, um, we, we, we were enjoying it. It was fun. And then they got to this one episode where suddenly everything came to a screeching halt and they worked on a boat. Um, and it was just them basically kind of like recapping things that we kind of already knew mm -hmm. and just really drawing it out. Yeah. And that was this episode. Um, I think we didn't they know taken... everything. Yeah. But it's still like. Yeah, the, it felt like this episode could have been done in like 10 minutes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. They could have showed this thing to 10 <laughs> minutes and then went back to what everybody actually wants to watch. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Especially to after mean, a big but... reveal like that. It's yeah. It's like you're like, seeing it's like, oh, it's just going to go crazy now. And then it's like, oh, nope, we're going to jump back in time and spend the whole yeah. time here. And, yeah. I, and I think if, if, if it was a show where. It's either all released at once, or you or you'd wait and watch it when all the episodes come out. It wouldn't bother you that bad, but when no, you wait a whole not. week and then it's basically like a boat episode, you're like, you mean I have to wait another week to actually get something <laughs> that I want to, some knowledge that I want to know? Because mm -hmm. 
they could have done that. They could have done the whole <coughs> car wreck and all that stuff really, you know, a lot faster. Yes. And it's it's, it's funny though, because I've been watching the penguin and they did uh, what you would probably call a boat episode this last episode, <laughs> but they made it so engaging and the characters were so just fun to watch. Yeah. And it, and it really did like, de- like it did really further the story along yeah but also reveal things that you had just been kind of like hinted at before and it worked yeah. uh, where this one it just it just didn't work it just it just was really drawn out not a lot happening Mm-mm. there's a whole lot of uh, sitting if you go if you yeah, go back and watch it sitting. there's a whole <laughs> lot of sitting between like two characters or something there's like the sitting in the uh bar mitzvah thing between yeah. the other witch and him mm-hmm. there's the sitting of the parents just, they're just sitting in their house and like mm-hmm. he comes hospital. in yeah they're sitting in the hospital <laughs> and then yeah. the sitting in the house when he comes in and they're like oh hey um i made that good pot roast hey you want to sit down and watch a movie with this hey how you doing I gotta mm-hmm. go to our and room and work. It was just like, yeah, and, yeah, and in, in the, the car, car. <laughs> and it was just like, even the whole accident scene, it was like very drawn out. And it was just like, let's yeah. just sit here and stare at him for a little bit as he's hmm. dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then and then they <laughs> they they pulled the acolyte where they um, showed the interaction between him and Agatha. Yeah. Uh, which they'd already done, just from, yeah, just from a different, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which I mean, there was uh, some funny things. I get like a couple little funny things with that, but overall, it was just like it wasn't needed. They didn't need to yeah. show his point of view in that because no. it was just the same information. Yeah, again, I don't think I laughed uh, at all. Didn't I think I, I think there was it was when he when she kicks him, um, made me laugh. Yeah, that was. Or, a little rough. I was like, "Good grief!" Yeah. Why? I think in the, in the whole, it was like a really big like <laughs> kick him and he, or something like he fell out and everything. This was just like, "Ow!" What the? Yeah, that was kind of <laughs> yummy, but it wasn't worth. No. That. <laughs> no. I mean, maybe the garden hose nozzle thing in her <laughs> holster was sort of funny, yeah. but mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> wasn't worth all that. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> so. We hate the show. That's what we've come to the conclusion. No, I'm just kidding. Not what we said. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. not at all. We are I'm liking it. We're it liking like, it. It was just sort of a wasted episode, especially for this, like for Halloween time. Like it, it, yeah. it fits perfectly. I don't know if I would be enjoying it as much if it wasn't during yeah, the month. That's right. That's true. Yeah, yeah. it was I like March. They, nah. they did a lot of development <laughs> of the William character. And then we got the development of the Billy character. So yeah. it could have, like yeah. you said, been a lot shorter and just shown this like really quick part of, oh, he lost his memory. Oh, no, he's this, you know, whatever. And it's, and, mm-hmm. and like you said, spit into it and then got more of the other story. It makes you think there's just this bigger overarching thing, but it's like, it's called Agatha all along, right? It's not, mm-hmm. it's not about <laughs> Billy Maximov, you know, so, yeah, or Wiccan or whatever. So I think I would be more interested in learning well, maybe it is. about, how this new person survives in the body of this dead kid. Sure. Like, does he have to use magic to like keep this body we, alive? Uh, or is it just yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, it, it did make me think like, yeah, like, cause at first I thought it was like something, the Scarlet witch, some, something she did. It like shot, him into another body and it could have shot his brother into another body yeah. but then the way agatha put it yeah that's what was confused. because of his power yeah mm-hmm. and that makes more sense um because scott i would think the scarlet witch would somehow recognize that that had happened if she mm-hmm. had done it yeah but he he had magic powers so he was dying and so he sought out some place to survive and it landed in him which does make me wonder yeah what happened to his brother yeah uh because he didn't have powers like that he's just yeah. 
He just goes really fast. He's fast. And then, and that made me think because, like, he's yeah, going down the witch's road to find his brother. He didn't care about his mom. I mean, <laughs> ungrateful. Yeah. Um, I mean, come on, you can't find both, really. Um, but, <laughs> but, um, like, I was, I was thinking, like, you know, the, when you're when you're making a deal for power and stuff like that, typically, like, especially with supernatural, you go to a crossroads. Mm-hmm. And you meet the and you meet a devil at the crossroads. So it makes me wonder: is there a devil at the end of this road? Mephisto. They said his name in an episode, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yes, they did. And in the comics, I believe that's how the kids survived was because of Mephisto. Um, mm. So it'd be interesting if that's how he gets his brother back to did, Mephisto. Now, deal. this is this is me not really knowing the characters that well. But I, for I've seen pictures of Mephisto, like this demon, right? And and then that first trial, there was this demon standing up there. I was like, "Is that Mephisto?" <laughs> you know, it was like above somebody, that was on their shoulders. That's what it was. Like that was, a, that was a curse. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it was it a was curse. Different. But yeah, I saw a rumor of the actor that maybe playing Mephisto, and I don't want it. Oh, oh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, I don't want it. That's right. Yeah. Because then I'll, I'll, I'll think of, I'll, I mean, I'll just think of him as like um, his other characters and not. Yeah, Mephisto. I mean, he fits his build. He actually, his build yeah. fits the character. Um, they, My they, wife. Get, get, not, get Johnny Depp in there. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Too much star power. <laughs> I mean, I'm still one of the supernatural boys. I'd still take them. They won't though. But anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, so that's our take on it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, the mm-hmm. boat episode is come and gone. There'll be mm-hmm. no more boat episodes. <laughs> we'll be all not even a dinghy. Yeah, yeah. It'll be all just like new stuff. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see if any of the other witches come back, or if this evil witches come back. Or they're all they're evil witches. Just... Yeah, they didn't really. Uh, they. Those last two just kind of died unceremoniously. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even mention. No. And why did she? Why did they die and not Agatha? She got got a hold of a branch. Oh, of course. <laughs> How silly of me. <laughs> and and uh, and um, Audrey Plaza's character yeah disappears. Where she yeah. had. I, I did like how they uh when they rode the witch's brooms or whatever they, they mm-hmm. said why did we why did we do this the whole time yeah <laughs> it's like because that's what everybody would have asked afterwards it's yeah. like why didn't they mm-hmm. just ride the, the whole time and then they take the eagles <laughs> <laughs> that's funny oh i did finish rings of power since you said the eagles mm-hmm. well good that's good recommend it that's good (laughs) (laughs) anyways all right we won't go into that because that would yeah um okay so let's move on to uh, my trip little trip report because everybody loves hearing those (laughs) (laughs) where did you go ryan i went to housey con the first housey con which is a convention celebrating pharmaceuticals no celebrating (laughs) The Galactic Star Cruiser. Oh. And it was put on by fans of the Galactic Star Cruiser. And it was a blast. Let me tell Good. you. It nice. was so much fun. There were 600 people there. 600 people that loved the Star Cruiser. Some of them, come to find out, I was on a panel with one of them. Didn't even go on the Star oh. Cruiser. Couldn't go. <laughs> but loved everything about it and wanted to be a part of it somehow so they went to the house they came to house interesting Con. so house of Con was at the Wyndham um mm-hmm. in orlando and uh basically they took over the whole hotel um nice. it was funny though because there was other people staying there and there were people walking around in full star wars <laughs> gear and they were like and there was people that brought full-size droids there was like two r2d2s that were just roaming around wow like real like Somebody had built them roaming yeah. around and like the people in Starbucks, I was in there getting something and she, and they were like, 
was that R2 D2 with this one past? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, it was. And they're like, what in the world? <laughs> that's, that's the but they did it just like in the parks. The guy had the remote and he was dressed just like a normal person, and you didn't even know that it was him controlling it. And <laughs> it was cool. A guy built the actual droids from the ship SK. And then the droid that was in the room that was just virtual was just, you know, on your screen wasn't made Mm -hmm. in real life by Disney, but this guy Mm -hmm. made the full size droid. um, Cool. That was like a humanoid like droid. I don't have that droid. I don't think to show you, but so they were roaming around. It was just really cool. They had a Sabacc room. If you don't know what Sabacc is, it's sort of like, Star Wars poker or something, um, card game. Sit up, and then when you most of the rooms you went into, it looked like your normal conference room or convention room. Mm-hmm. But the Sabak room looked like you were walking into like by two or something. They had yeah, that's cool. done everything to it and um, mm-hmm. made it look cool. Um, I was a vendor, so I got to sell some kyber crystals, which was great. Um, nice. But it it was just. I've been to a bunch of conventions and I've been to a mm-hmm. bunch of stuff, but this felt different in a good way because everybody that was there was there because they loved this one thing. Mm-hmm. But everybody that was there generally or generally just or genuinely, sorry, yeah. I'm so sick, wanted <laughs> to be around each other. Like it was just like, there was hugs. There was, you know, people hanging out. And um, the last night they had like a DJ plan and everybody was just gathered around, just having fun, um, just hanging out. And I was telling my wife, um, because I, for those that you don't know, you probably do know, I was in ministry for a long time, like 17 years. I was a worship pastor, student pastor. And it felt like, and I know it wasn't, and I'm not, I'm not putting this out there, but it felt like what church should be like, because everybody was there with no agenda, just hanging out, having fun, singing, dancing, just being joyful with each other. And there was no ill will towards anybody. And when it was over, I was like, I can't wait to meet everybody next time. So it was, it was just, it was just really cool. I've never seen anything quite like that. I've been to Star Wars Celebration. We go to Comet Blues every year. Mm-hmm. Um, Have you ever been to a Trekkie con- uh, no. convention? <laughs> They're all there for one thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it, it was just like, it, people were asking each other, like, you know, just about their lives and just about you know, just talking and I got as a vendor, I got to basically talk to everybody there coming through. And it was just like, it was just different. It was just weird. It was just like, you know, (laughs) just people just having fun and just like, no, like, yeah, no weird stuff going on or people (laughs) from all different walks of life. Just, just having fun, hanging out, and uh, mm-hmm. so it was giving stuff to each other. Everybody like just brought stuff, and I'd be just standing there, and people would be like, "Here, take this," and just giving me handfuls of like buttons and pins and stickers and stuff, not promoting anything, just bringing it. Like, and then like, so I make uh, kyber crystals that look like drinks from the from the cantinas and stuff. And this lady walks up to me at my vendor table and she hands me this little tray and it looked like the tray that you would be served your food on the star cruiser, like for breakfast and lunch with little foods on it that were the foods from the star cruiser that she Mm. handmade. And she's like, I just want you to know your drink crystals inspired me to make these nice. And I just Mm. made these and I'm handing them out to people and I wanted to make sure that you got a couple of them. I'm like, so cool. You know, I'm going to put these with my little drinks at home (laughs) uh yeah it was just cool it was just like and people were just like going to the vendors like just spending their money and just being like we want to support you as a crafter and a small business even afterwards i've had people message me and say hey i I just want to keep supporting you so i'm going to order some more crystals and i'm like that's that's so cool 
That's cool. nice. So it was just a bunch of people supporting each other, having fun, celebrating the Star Cruiser, and um, not sponsored by Disney. Um, I don't know what Disney thought about it. Probably not good. <laughs> Yeah, I got, uh, I got stories. Like I got a, stories I could tell. Um, not on the like podcast. Woods, sounds like it was your Woodstock. Sorta. It was just cool. And then, <laughs> but it, at the end, it was sort of like, are they going to do this again? You know? Yeah. Hey, is Disney going to let them do it again? Are they going to be able to afford to do it again? Um, it's it's a little weird to me that yeah, like they wouldn't. I mean. There's so many different comic conventions, and that's, I mean, that's how they all started. I mean, like you said, like Trekkie sure. conventions yeah. and stuff, they're not really sponsored necessarily no. by no, no. these companies. Investors, so, maybe. I yeah. could tell you stuff <laughs> offline. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I don't want to put it out there on here. But, um, but yeah, and then they, I got a, a message saying, hey, guess what? We're doing a second one. Tabuite yeah. is a is a thing that they would say on on the ship. It's sort of like a you know just sort of like a goatee ray curse like, word. So they're going to call it. They're going to change the way it's spelled, but so it'd be Halsicon two, like T W O Buite. Ha, puns. Yeah. I love it. And <laughs> and so Tabuite. Yeah. So here's the only thing that was. It was still cool. It was so funny. But if you were a resort guest there that wasn't part of this, you'd probably be like, okay, is this the end of the world or what's going on? So do you remember in Andor, the one way out scene where they're all dressed mm. in their. Yeah. Their prison jail guard? prison. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was the thing on the Star Cruiser when I was on there and we all dressed up and we did one way out through the hallways at the mm -hmm. end of the night and it was fun. So a bunch of people decided to do it uh, for Housecon at this random hotel. <laughs> <laughs> where there were people staying. Uh, I forgot my outfit at home, so I did not participate. But I went and watched. Uh, and then some people decided, you know what would be fun? If we march to the hotel to the pool, and then mm. we jump in the pool, like in the show where they jumped off. <laughs> 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 so it's nighttime. Oh, no. There's this whole <laughs> like big group of people running walking through the hallways chanting one way out one way out i get to the pool there's these two dudes sitting in the pool that have nothing <laughs> to do with this. just sitting there relaxing yeah. from the mm -hmm. probably long day and then here from the doors bust out these group of people in white and orange jumpsuits chanting one way out and then they jump into the pool with these two dudes in there and they're just like what the heck is going on <laughs> Wow, kind of yeah, cult is this? Yeah, <laughs> coming here, here to join the aliens that are coming yeah. to get. <laughs> they didn't get out though. They just sort of like boot to the other side of the pool and just sat there, like I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> They're probably afraid. afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty funny. That's good. But yeah, they are going to do another one. Uh, it's going to be next fall, probably October again. Hopefully, I can go. Um. So that was good. It was great. It was fantastic. I. It's cool to see groups like that come together to uh, celebrate something that they did and just have fun with each other and, yeah. you know, go away from it and go back to their own lives and then come do it again. <sighs> um, after that, it, it this was right before that last hurricane. Mm -hmm. Milton. So it was rainy every day. Um, it, one of the cool things when we got there, this uh, guy, I two other guys from Houston that I know were going to, and we ended up all on the same flight. And they go, "We got a guy that wants to give us a ride from the airport." I'm like, "Oh, cool! You know, free ride from the airport." Turns out he worked for Disney, hmm. um, and he was like, "Hey, look, you know, I picked you up. Let's just go to the parks." And he took us to the parks nice. for free. It's Very cool. Nice. So that was fun. Uh, one of the guys with us had, we went to Hollywood studios. One of the guys with us had never been to, um, uh, primetime cafe. Oh, Oh. And so the other guy was like, we're going to primetime. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, we got the best waiter I have ever had there. Oh, good. This guy, he was like an older guy and he called himself. He's like uncle. What do we call Remus? No, 
don't know if his name was Tim or I don't know. Anyways, turns out he'd, he'd been working there for 26 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And he lives like close to Tampa. So he drives over to work. He said he's about, he's getting Excuse ready me. to hopefully retire, but he's been there for 26 years and he put on the show. It was just so much fun. He gave us such a hard time because at that, at that restaurant, you know, it's, it, you know, elbows on the table. You're going to get yelled at, you know, all this stuff you're like <laughs> he was so funny and he would just say the most random things um like he told us remember tonight's bath night so everybody hold hands and was like what <laughs> 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 but then um somebody got the uh had a different upbringing yeah somebody, <laughs> somebody got the fried chicken and they're like hey just tell aunt Bessie or whatever that fried chicken is called is because it's named after somebody that it's the best fried chicken. And he said, this is something a little new or a little behind the scenes. He goes, Oh no, I can't tell her. He's like, you don't want your name on that menu. And it turns out if your names, if there's a name on that menu, like the fried chicken, he could be making this up, but he seemed to be telling the <laughs> truth. Um, that it's somebody that had worked there, but they passed away. No. Oh. So it was a way oh. to sort of. So he was like, you don't want, yeah, you don't want your name on that menu. I can't tell her <laughs> she's not with us anymore. I was like, oh. <laughs> but he was fantastic. Well, good. Um, so he was great. First, he, he, you started out and you thought, oh, he's going to be a grumpy old man. Not going to be fun. But he was just fun. Um, so that was fun. That's how we started the trip. And then we went to House of Con. And that was a blast. And then afterwards, uh, Winchester, our friend of the show, yeah, had messaged me. And I said, oh, I'm here. Um, and he said, let's get together and go to Disney. So we went to the parks, Epcot, and went, then we rode the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios and just had fun. I found out that my favorite soup mm. from the Canadian Pavilion for food yeah. and wine the cheddar cheese soup. Mm -hmm. I can't have it anymore. Oh, can't have I it. I found out it's made with chicken stock. Oh. Which I'm allergic to. Bathe the chicken in it. Which my wife was like, maybe that's why you get sick on Disney trips. You can <laughs> always eat that. And I'm like, well, I guess so. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> yep. So that was a that's bummer. Um, I got to experience for the first time. The new Communicore, whatever they call it. What do they call it? The they call it? it was horrible. <laughs> Let me tell you. The people online that are saying it's bad, they are right. It is bad. It was like a high school cafeteria, oh. but, but worse. It was just, mm. it was lame as lame can be. It was just a big building with white walls and bland floors and tables that look like they're from a lunchroom. They had like a little booth set up with some merch and they had a couple of places <coughs> where you could get food, but it was just, they dropped the ball. Yeah. That's bad. Unless they're doing something else with it. But everybody that I've talked to have been like, yeah, that's bad. Oh, well. And one thing that I lo love that I always love about Disney is going to see like the merch and all the stuff because I just think it's fun. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, like went to to uh, Galaxy's Edge. That's one of the things I love seeing all the new merch and stuff. They didn't have anything new since May. Mm -hmm. I mean, there may have been like mm -hmm. one or two things, but it just felt like going to the Disney. Uh, character warehouse or wherever where you get all mm -hmm. the leftovers it just felt like that it felt like just a bunch of leftovers that nobody wanted to buy um so i didn't buy anything oh man yeah no, mm. i didn't buy anything at disney i bought the kids i bought the the halloween droid they always come out with the halloween droid they're like the mm. little ones mm -hmm. this year was like a zombie one so i got that for my son and they had a mystery ewok plush yeah, I got for my daughter, she loved that and he loved it. But yeah, I didn't get me anything because there was nothing there to get. <laughs> the day that I left, they came out with a C three PO head that was really cool. Mm -hmm. 
but it was like a hundred bucks. Oh, for a head. <laughs> it's cool, but yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't impressed by that. It looked sort of lame. Speaking of lame, I guess we can oh, move on to the lame oh, part. Segue. Of the show. Segue. But yes, House of God was great. It was fabulous. Great. Uh, oh, but yeah. before we get to the lame stuff, I do want to say today they announced that Epic Universe is opening May 22nd. <gasps> Epic. Way to go. And it's, Congratulations. it's I'm, I'm excited. That they're, they're, Universal is opening up a new park. And to counter that, Disney said, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're gonna do? You're opening that. They're opening that. Bur- who who cares about Epic Universe? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna premiere the premiere pass for Lightning Lane, and we're gonna charge it. You know, for the low low price, four hundred dollars a day for some weeks at the Magic Kingdom. You can ride all the rides. You got oh. it. <laughs> you got it. <sighs> so Epic Universe is great. I can't wait for that. Uh, but Disney announced the Disney Premier Pass Lightning Lane, which will get mm-hmm. you on all the rides, I guess. All of the Lightning Lane attractions. So that it's mm-hmm. not everything. Oh. But it's anything that you would buy. Like if you had Genie Plus, anything you would get a Lightning Lane for. Um, yeah. And you so don't it, have to make a time for it. Right. You don't have to make a time for it. You don't get in the front of the line. You just walk into the Lightning Lane. And you can only do it like if for like Pirates of the Caribbean, you would only do it once for, per day for that pass, yeah. right? It's so then you're awesome. done with that pass. Uh, you have to go do one of the other 17 rides. I mean, sometimes those lightning lanes seem just as long as the regular yeah. lines. Yeah. I watched the video where somebody huh. did lightning lanes and the other person did standby lines. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They got done pretty much around the same time. <laughs> and the lightning lane person maybe did one more thing. But because the mm. way the lightning yeah. lane works now is you have to wait in between for your times. Right. Sure. So the other mm. standby person just went from ride to ride to ride to ride. Yeah. Yeah. And they got done right at the same time. But this sure. one, you don't have to wait for times. You can just go up to and be like, mm-hmm, here's my fancy pass. Right. Um, mm-hmm. I can just get in the lightning lane now. Um, it, and it's going to be limited at first. It's only going to be for deluxe DVC and Villa yeah. guests. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, because they have more money. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think they the one thing they did right about this is they made it a premium. All right. It, oh. If it were cheap, everybody would do it, and then it's no longer a premium, right? It would. Um, it comes out to be about eighteen dollars a ride at, at Magic Kingdoms. What we figured out, uh, which is about the cost of an individual Lightning Lane uh, yeah. that you would buy today for like Tron or whatever it is they've got. Um, yeah. And but you're only doing that for one ride. But this is eighteen dollars <laughs> a ride uh, for the eighteen rides, um, and it's it's about thirteen or fourteen dollars at the other parks. So it's I see what they did as far as the cost, like how they figured yeah, out how much they want to charge, but. There. <laughs> but it's so you're paying you're essentially buying like these tickets <laughs> e-tickets <laughs> for these rides um yeah. which but you've already paid you know but you know we, we you, it's in lieu of paying for a genie plus so that's not going away um so it's this extra thing but it's still hmm. crazy expensive it is being piloted it's not and it that'll start in october um yeah. but it could flop because i it, think it's it expensive <laughs> yeah Somebody figured out the or looked at it and said, "Is it cheaper to just go on a VIP tour?" And yeah. that ends up being about five hundred dollars a person. So it's not quite, but it's close. It's close. <laughs> yeah. With a yeah, VIP well, tour, a... you get to the front of the line. <laughs> and and with the VIP tour, for yeah. most of them, you can go. You can park hop. Right. This yeah. you can't park hop. So if you go to Magic Kingdom. You spend four hundred dollars for a premier pass, and then yeah. your kid's like, "I really want to go to Hollywood Studios." So you park hop. You would have to buy another premier pass for Hollywood Studios to do it. So yeah. basically, if, mm-hmm. if you wanted to do it there too, if you wanted to do it, I mean, yeah. So there's... basically, if you went, if you park hop, you're not there for the full day, so you're not going to ride all the rides. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So it doesn't work with park hop, which is crazy. 
Right. I don't. I don't remember the exactly what it was because it's been a while. When I went to Universal Studios in Hollywood, they have yeah, something they, where you they have the Express Pass. Express Pass. Yeah, it's about a hundred dollars. One hundred and ten dollars yeah. is what I saw on one thing. Um, and that one, and I yeah. used that, and that to me was worth it. Sure. To do, but That's this is like reasonable, like three it's to four <laughs> times more. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and it's not all the rides. It's just certain yeah. rides, and you're getting in like a lane that all pretty much everybody else is. Yeah, because they yeah. they don't have a fast pass type system. I mean, they have this, mm. but it's it's not where you where everybody can yeah. kind of afford it, right? It's like you can get G mm -hmm. plus a day, yeah. and it's what yeah twenty seven dollars or whatever. Uh, and you can go schedule these rides. That's not something that Universal have has. They just have the Express Pass, so it is a it's it is a premium, and that's a good goodish cost, I guess, and benefit. Mm -hmm. um, but I can see it backfiring on them though. Yeah. If, if like the people that spend money on this mm -hmm. spend money on it, and they get there, and the Lightning Lane line is like twenty sure. minutes, and they're like, yeah. I spent four hundred dollars on this. I went to the front of the line now. <laughs> yeah. And they're yeah, gonna be like, "Sorry, are, you can't do that." Well, funny. I I spent this much money. You better put me in the front of the line, or I'm gonna uh, yeah. talk to your manager. Because those are the people that are uh -huh. spending the most money at the parks. They're they're yeah. the resorts they're staying at are not yeah. cheap, and they're it's they're gonna have different attitudes. <laughs> I mean, anybody feels entitled at Disney. It seems like yeah. <laughs> they think they are owed <laughs> something, I guess. But it it's it's probably not gonna be great. Um, but again, it's very limited. It is very premium. So I don't think, I don't think a lot of people will do it. Uh, it'll be beneficial for those that do do it, I guess. Um, but yeah. And on top of that, Disney <laughs> said, you know what, what other way can we do money, <laughs> money grab? How else can we grab money from who have we not grabbed money from for a while? Oh, you remember those DVC people over there that give us money all the they time. They Give us money. <laughs> Every and year. like bought into a, a uh, timeshare timeshare. <laughs> we could probably wring some more money out of them. If we, if we call it a benefit package. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so they unveiled that today or yesterday or something. DVC $99 benefit package. If you pay $99 a year, then you will have the opportunity mm. To Ooh, acquire some other benefits. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to be positive with Disney. It's an opportunity. I love Disney. You know, great. I've loved Disney all my life. I remember when Fast Passes were free. <laughs> I remember, and I, I don't know. I know times change. I remember when you could get mm -hmm. an annual pass for $300. Uh, I'm just an old <laughs> fart. <laughs> Uh, because I did get one for two. <laughs> I remember when a DVC member, you got all kinds of cool stuff for free. Now they're like, you know what? Forget that. We're gonna make you pay ninety nine dollars. Now some people that I've seen on my Facebook have been like, "Well, this is great. I'll pay ninety nine dollars to get the stuff that I used to get for free." Womp womp. <laughs> no. The only thing that I that was cool about this benefit package is that you can use your points to buy an annual pass if you wanted to, which I'm like, oh, that's sort of cool. But you're still paying ninety nine dollars a year, right? Um, and it's like, so there's, so I'm a DVC member. In the parks, in certain parks, there's lounges where you can go and present your card, and you can go up to a lounge and get like a Coke or snacks chips. and a Coke, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing big, just little stuff. But mm -hmm. you can say. So part of the benefit package is, hey, you want front of the line access to those lounges? You want some <laughs> exclusive character <laughs> meet and greets? We no. got you covered. Just give us $99 a year and potentially you can get on those front of the line things. Mm -hmm. Everything is potentially. Potentially, you can yeah. get this. You might be able to do it. this. <laughs> yeah. And it's just... You meet the raccoon like, from Pocahontas? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you pay $99, we may give you some discounts on tickets. 
We may do this. We don't know yet. We don't know. It could be, could not all be. Sorts of benefits. Just give us your money first, and we almost maybe potentially guarantee that there'll be some cool stuff coming for you if you give us a $99. Mm -hmm. It's just getting Get out of control. It's getting out of control. Um, it's getting out of control. And they've, they have, people are saying, there's people that, have been longtime Disney people that are posting videos and stuff saying, well, Disney has officially priced me out of going to Disney. <laughs> like I just can't afford to go to Disney mm -hmm. because on top of go to the parks, if you, if you know, if you don't want to wait in two hour lines and you got to get this other thing, you got to pay for this. And you can, even DVC members now it's like, so I was like talking to my wife and she said something. I'm like, you know, I said something about, we may possibly go to California and I'm like, you know, we could, we could just use our DVC points and just stay at a DVC resort. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go to the parks mm -hmm. and we could just do that instead of paying all these ridiculous prices or stuff. But I'm hoping, and I don't want to hope this. I hope that when Epic universe opens up that it just does so well that Disney is going to have to rethink some stuff and be like, Hey, maybe we should start putting the magic back in Disney and caring about the people who are spending money instead of our own pockets. They probably won't, but there, that was one thing I always loved about Disney. It felt magical. It felt like they cared about their customers. And now I think it's just like, how can we make more money? And I know that's always been a part of it, but it just, you know, Mm -hmm. feels less magical even when i was there like just the parks looked less magical <laughs> looked more high school cafeteria looked more discount bargain store but still disney prices you know it just it doesn't look very magical anymore it's sort of like the have you seen the picture of mcdonald's from when we we're a kid and the mcdonald's now yeah mm -hmm. That's yeah. what Disney feels like now. It's dumbed down. <laughs> it's just like corporate Great instead of simple. magical. So yeah. you miss one of the benefits of Premier Pass. Oh, heaven forbid. You get some uh, ride photos for free. <gasps> yes. Some. Some. Some <laughs> ride photos. Yeah. I thought that was funny. That they <laughs> Only with like. There's certain ones. Small you know, world. What does it cost them to do those yeah. stupid mm -hmm. digital photos for that matter? Oh, you still you get those for free <laughs> there. Yeah. You know, you it's, could buy a package like if you wanted to, right. but it came with like stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the worst thing that was announced last week or this week, <laughs> it gets worse. That is that Big Thunder Mountain is going to be closed for an entire, at least a year. Entire year. <laughs> entire oh. year. An entire year. Wow. This is what cracks me up when they do stuff like that. When yeah. other parks are like, "Hey, guess what? We start building a ride. It's going to open next year, like brand yeah. new." And Disney's like, "We got this ride that's been there for years. We're going to shut it, it down for a year." They're going to. I think <laughs> what everybody's saying is that they're possibly going to redo the tracks and and some of the effects and things like that, like make it smoother and all this stuff. I mean, with yeah, that much time, they better there's be. There's like a f effect stuff that they do at Disneyland. That I yeah, guess yeah. In Disney World, okay. they're going to be like going adding that in water, like in Paris or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Take me a year. But it's and then also they announced that they're closing, you know, part of Dino Rama or, or Dino Rama, I guess specifically uh at animal kingdom not dinosaur yet thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> there's, um, there's already animatronics missing from dinosaur oh no oh, yeah no. the one that's eating the other dinosaur yeah gone there's just a bush oh, there now that's... choked oh yeah he <laughs> choked on the dinosaur and he's gone uh, yeah we're, we were planning a trip for next october and uh I don't know, <laughs> but because there's like all these things that are going to be closed, there's going to be a new parade, a uh, night parade, which is cool. Uh, but uh, maybe you should uh, try the West Coast. Thing. I know we we I said something about that, and they're like, no, nah, I don't know. But it's like all the it, by that time, dinosaur will be closed, so half of that park's going to be closed. Yeah. Animal Kingdom. Um, I was trying to figure out time. if we could go like in December <laughs> of this year and universe try to get in some stuff before 
I've got all these Disney dollars for my stupid pr- uh, premiere visa or whatever. Yeah. Try, I mean, I think you guys would have fun at Disneyland in California. Well, I know we would. It, there are just certain things that we like and love about Disney World, about the transportation, the the things that you can do, not even in the park, you know, or just being being there in, in the bubble. You know, there's still the bubble there. Mm-hmm. And and that's the whole the whole the whole package. We enjoy the whole package of Disney World that you don't get at Disneyland because it's yeah. it's in the middle of a town. But you don't you, once you go, if not, you're staying there, it doesn't yeah. feel like that. Because we were really there for great. one day and it was like, sure. you mean I could just walk 10 feet and be no, in the I next did. park? Yeah. It was crazy. It's crazy. But, sure. Yeah, it was expensive. <laughs> but yeah. So I, I don't cool. know. Yeah. It's it's just a lot more expensive to get over there. The, and, yeah. the one thing about Universal in um, Hollywood uh, uh, is I actually do like that it's in the middle uh, mm-hmm. of the city because like the the view from Universal looking out is yeah. just really cool because you can see like all these different studios. Uh, and their into their backlots and stuff from up there, and the actual backlot tour for that one is really right. It's yeah. <laughs> legitimate. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully you'll work we'll a Disney trip out. out. You'll figure it out. Um, yeah. If you need me to come and be the old grandpa yeah. that hates everything, I could do that. <laughs> we'll probably end up going. It's just going to be a lot more. But it's like if I I need to get it in now before prices go up on tickets and stuff. So. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, stuff's gonna keep going up. I don't think it's ever gonna go down again. I think this oh, is gonna keep I mean, going up, keep going we've up. Got an election coming up, Ryan. Think yeah, positive. Maybe, no, maybe I think have like a like a coupon day or something. <laughs> coupon <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> Not so premium. That's the trend with Disney, though. They just keep bumping up prices, oh, yeah. and it's, it's sort of like they're thinking, like, let's see how far we can go. Yeah, before people they're, stop coming, they're they're, yeah. they're run by the lawyers that ran Jurassic Park. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think. So. I mean, at some point, people will stop. I think. Yeah. I mean, the last when I went, both I went the beginning of my trip and I went the end of my trip. I want you to guess <laughs> how many rides I rode when I went two days to Disney. I went. Hollywood Studios for a little bit. And then the other day I went to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. How many rides did you think I rode? One half. 20. What did you say? 20? Yeah. <laughs> There's 18 at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> I didn't get to go to Magic Kingdom because, oh, because it was a party yeah. night. So they closed early. Yeah. So oh. the time we got there, we would have had to leave. So we're like, we're not going to do that. I rode a total, grand total. No, I'll take that back. <laughs> I wrote a grand total of two rides. Oh. Ooh. That's it. Nice. Why did you only ride two rides? Because there was, I don't know. It just, I didn't want to wait in line. Yeah. I didn't want to pay to wait in line. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And the only reason we rode those two rides is because we walked by the smugglers run and there was no wait. So we yeah. walked on, and that's the first time I've ever been to the main queue of that ride. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. <laughs> I was like, look um, at all this. There's like a Sabak game going on. There's like all this armor. There's all this cool stuff. I've, um, I've been through that main line a couple of times. Like if you get there early enough, you can walk all the way through it and get to the front, you know, without having to stand there. Yeah. Uh, but that's the only time I've gone through it. Yeah, we walked through that. Basically, it was a walk-on. And then we walked by Star Tours and there was no line. And we walked on there, which I was so excited because I was like, oh, yeah, let's do Star Tours again. We could do Ahsoka, Mandalorian. No. Oh. We got the dumb sequels. <laughs> 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 and there, when we walked up, there was only like Winchester and me and then these uh, two other people. And we we're like, oh. We're like looking at each other and we're all excited. We're like, one of us is going to be the rebel spy. There's only four of us. This is going to be great. <laughs> and then they're like, hold up. Hold up. Here's a, here's 15 more people. And we're like, oh. <laughs> one of those people got it. And we were all oh, bummed. Ooh. Four of us were bummed. We're like, we thought this was going to be it. Like all of us. None of us, none of us have been rebel star before. We're like, and these are the strangers, you know, that we're talking to. We're like, we thought this was our day. 
one of one of us was going to be the rebel spy. One of us. One of us. I think my wife got it one time, but we didn't have our phones out and ready for oh, you know we yeah. were enjoying the ride, <laughs> so we didn't get a picture. Yeah, so I rode two rides. Well, and we were just like, I don't want to wait in line. What's going to happen is people are going to stop being able to afford to go. I feel like in this whole premium yeah. thing, it's like, what's the point? Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. If nobody's going, I mean, I think there's still going to be people that they save their whole life and they're going to pay whatever. Like we go every two, it'll be three years when we get to go the next time. Um, so it's it's like, well, we're just going to pay the extra for whatever. Not we're not going to pay for a premiere. <laughs> uh, get me but we're going to sure. pay for Genie Plus and get do all the things yeah. we want to get everything done. You know, mm -hmm. we want to do. So we're, there's going to be people like that that do that, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, because it just feeds into that whole thing. But I mean, yeah, and I went. I mean, I don't go nearly as often as either of you. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, when I went and like, I I paid for yeah a couple of lightning lanes mm -hmm. because it's just like I don't know when I'm coming back here. Yeah. And like, yeah. there's like at least a couple rides I definitely want to ride, and if I don't right. do this, will I even get to ride them? Like, <laughs> yeah, yep. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see what Disney does or how this works out for them. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to be negative Nelly, but I hope it bombs. Well, I, hope, <laughs> I hope it bombs so hard for them that they're just like, they just like, it just disappears one day. Don't even mention it anymore because they need to know that they can't just keep just putting out these ridiculous prices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that, I've heard that it's been down. I've yeah. heard. That the, oh, that's got to be with the way yeah, the economy yeah. is, <laughs> and mm -hmm. almost two hundred dollars for a day. This is crazy. I thought. I mean, I wouldn't have gone this last trip if if I hadn't had people who was like, you know, you're coming with me, because I looked at the prices. And I'm like, I'm not paying that to go into the park. Yeah, I'm not doing yeah. that. I'll just go hang by the pool or whatever. And but it was rainy the whole time, <laughs> so that was mm -hmm. stupid. But I did go to the uh, the pool. It quit raining for a little bit. Went to the pool. Um. But yeah, it's yeah too too rich for my blood. <laughs> Getting that way for most people. I mean, it's it's ridiculous to think um, what what I should be spending my money on, and then it's like uh, go into this. What really? I'm spending all this money for what? It's silly, We're, but, we are thinking about uh, doing a California trip because uh, my wife wants to hit some national parks, and there's a yeah, couple out there. And I'm like, you know what would be cool since we have DVC. If we take a couple nights and stay at the Grand California, no, yeah. because it's like based on the national park, so we could stay there and have like our yeah. fancy couple of nights before we go hiking or after we go hiking to the woods. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we may do that, uh, but I don't know if we'll go to the parks or not. Just depends. Yeah, but that would be fun take, just to do. Taking the, the the chilling children. Yeah, yeah. So they would probably be like, "Why can't we go to Disneyland?" <laughs> Yeah, don't want to go to Disney. <laughs> it's right there. And then, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> like, there's, especially, yeah. especially if you stay at the Grand California, you walk out the lobby and you're in the park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, sneak in. I could be like, I could tell the wife, you go enjoy a spa day because they have a really nice spa there. I'll take the kids. We'll go with the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Get the premiere pass. No. <laughs> yeah, <please. laughs> If you we can, did, because you're a TVC. If we did go to Disneyland, I probably would have to get the Genie Plus. Genie Plus, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because we don't go out there that much. But. Right. Yeah, you want to do it all. Yeah. Which when we were there before, we did Genie Plus and I had DAS at the time because people could still get that that have disabilities. <laughs> uh <laughs> and it was nice because we did both. And we got to actually ride rides. So you had a premium plus. before there was a premium. Bet. Yeah, we had premium before, <laughs> which I, I think that's the one reason why DAS has yeah. gone away. Sure. Mm -hmm. so they can charge. But anyways, here's a bit of good news. Oh, good news. A uh, new season of Phineas and Ferb is coming. Yes. Uh, plus. Yeah. So yeah. very soon. All this summer. Yeah. 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 All yes. this summer. Yes. And they're still kids, right? <laughs> so it's, oh, they're gonna be in college. <laughs> <laughs> Spring break. It's, They've all got dad bods and <laughs> yeah. 
Well, yeah, they're hitting the party towns for spring break. That's what they're... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be yes. fun. <laughs> but I don't know what else news coming out. Mm. What well, uh, soon we'll have the new skeleton, skeleton crew. crew. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? We'll I'm sure what there's else? something else. I'm sure there's something else. I wonder if that what was that show, The Clauses? Didn't it make a show about uh Santa Claus? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if they're doing a new season of that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Could be good. Mm-hmm. Outer Banks. Be out. These seasons out. And Outer Banks, watch, yeah. We need to watch I that. Want to watch that. Anyways, all right. Well, we'll be back again sooner than later Sometime. this time. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe sure. next week. Because I think Maybe. Derek's out of town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do. Anyways, thank yep. you. Check us out on Louis and Landspeeder other weeks and here. And for I'm Geek, because you're already here. So stay here. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. If you need Kyber Crystals, I'm Geek Shop for all your Kyber Crystal needs. And thank you, Kater. Thank you, Chris. It's been fun being back. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching our pretty faces if you're watching this or listening to our lovely voices. And I like our lights tonight. We have blue, green, and purple. Yes. Ooh. So I'm Agatha. And you're I'm, a, and I'm, I'm Billy. Witch, and you're Billy. And I'm just the you're Earth. Wicked you're the, witch no, the you're West. the Earth. <laughs> the wicked witch. You're the Earth Witch. <laughs> there, she's got the green powers. What's her oh, name? Yeah. Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Plaza. Green, green oh. super okay. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we, we we matched it up. We didn't even know. Oh, so this has been so I'm Geek all along, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> on I'm Geek. Bye-bye. <laughs>